Hey, David L. Hoyt here at Sleepy Hollow Middle School. We are here with Mr. Dietz's sixth grade class, and we are going to teach you how to play Giant Math Winder. We've laid out our non-slip mat, and now we're gonna lay out the boards. The 16 double-sided boards can actually be put together 262 decillion different ways. That's uh, one with 33 zeros after it. Uh, let's just say that no two games will ever play the same. After the boards are laid out, players break up into teams and then each team gets their own color chip. One thing to note is that we're demonstrating this game with a four chip limit, which means that each team can only play up to four chips during a turn. The objective of the game is to be the first team to create a math winding path of numbers that connects one side of the board to its opposite side. It can be left to right or top to bottom. The orange team is starting with one times four equals one plus three. The red team is starting with eight minus two is equal to three times two. The green team is going to play two plus two plus four equals eight. The orange team's next play will be seven plus five equals four plus eight. So now the red team will be doing nine minus six is equal to two plus one. Green is going to try block to block orange with six divided by three equals two times one. Now that you've seen how the teams create mathematical equations to place chips onto the board, we're going to go ahead and speed this game up and get closer to the end of the game. The red and the green team worked together to really get an orange's way. Let's see if it's a good enough block. So the orange team is going to reuse the one. So one times seven equals three plus four. So orange is trying to cut through that little gap there, so the red and the green team are gonna to have to team up again to try to block orange. Orange figured out a way to get through that gap and is now only one space away from winning the game. We are going to block and connect by doing two times one. Red and green did a pretty good job of blocking orange, but there is a little gap there. Let's see if orange can figure out a way to uh, get through there and win the game. Perfect. Do okay. it. That's good. Do it. One equals two plus six. Yes. So orange is one by connecting the left side to the right side. So we've just finished a game of Giant Math Winder in which the orange team won by connecting the left side all the way over there and then through here and through there to the right side. But they could have won by connecting the top to the bottom. It just has to be the opposite side. And in this game, we played with a four chip limit, which meant that all the math equations were either gonna be three or four numbers long. But you can actually set the chip limit to whatever the ability is of the student. So if you're playing with younger kids, you could say, okay, it's a three chip limit, and maybe it just has to be always addition and subtraction. Or you could set it to, you know, five or six chips, you know, depending on the ability. And, you know, if you were, say, working on division, you could say every equation played must use division, or every equation must use multiplication. Uh, so there's lots of different ways to, to make this work for many different uh, age levels. But uh, that's it. Again, great job, Orange Team, for winning by connecting the left side to the right side. Awesome. Mathfinder is a game about working together. 
players work together as a team to try to figure out equations that can be played onto the board. They're also working together to try to figure out which team to block or whether or not to go on the offensive. There's a lot of discussion that goes on. And then when one team is about to win, the other two teams have to create a temporary alliance and work together to block that team from winning. Mathwinder is much more than about math equations. It's a game about teamwork and making good, logical decisions. We love Titan Mathwinder! Mathwinder, wind your numbers, get to the other side of the board. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide your way to the other side. Kick off your shoes and find a path. Cross the board with winning math. Kick off your shoes and find a path.